Hello grade 9 learners, have a nice day. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. For today's video, I'll be discussing to you about finding the interval notation given the graph of inequality in a number line. Remember, we are going to use an open or hollow circle if the inequality symbol being used is either less than or greater than. So this is an open circle or a hollow circle. On the other hand, closed or a solid circle, this one is used if the inequality symbol is less than or equal to or greater than or equal to. So we have here a graph. Find the solution set describes in the graph of a number line. So this is the graph of a given inequality. So this time we're going to find the solution set. It's here open at negative 1. And then the shaded region from this point going to positive infinity. So how are we going to determine or how are we going to write the solution set? In writing the solution set, we can write it in set builder notation. That is the set of all x such that x is greater than negative 1. Okay, why we have this? Because in here we have negative 1, open circle. Open circle and number going to the positive infinity are greater than negative 1. That's why we use greater than symbol. Okay, and here negative 1, so this is a negative 1. Now, if we're going to write this in interval notation, we have negative 1. The symbol that we're going to use before negative 1 is open parenthesis, meaning to say that negative 1 is not part of the solution because we have here an open circle. So, open parenthesis, negative 1, then we have comma, then going to this shaded region here is going to positive infinity. Now, the symbol for infinity will just use parenthesis because we do not know the exact number where it ends. And infinity does not specify a certain number. So, it is just a representation. So, we have to use close parenthesis for infinity. So this is now the interval notation. Example number two. Find the solution set described in the graph of a number line. So we have here an open circle a three. Then going to the left are the solutions or part of the solutions of this inequality. So how are we going to determine the solution set? So using the set builder notation, the set of all x such that x is less than 3. Okay, numbers going there are less than 3. Now for the interval notation, so we have going there is negative infinity. Again, for infinity, we're going to make use of the parenthesis. So negative infinity then 3 3 is not included we'll have it up to 2.9 as part of the solution but excluding positive 3 that's why here we have again to make use of close parenthesis another example okay this is a graph so this time we have now a solid circle going to the negative infinity. 
So remember, solid circle, we can make use of either greater than or equal to or less than or equal to. Now, for the set value notation, the solution going to the left, they are less than or equal to 2. So therefore, we have here the set of all x such that x is less than or equal to 2. Now for the interval notation, we have negative infinity going there, parenthesis, and then here we have a bracket. We are going to make this of a bracket because 2 is part of the solution. Meaning to say 2 is included. That is why we are going to make use of a bracket. Next example. So, we have here an open, I mean, closed circle at negative 2. Then the shaded region is going to the positive infinity. So, for the set pillar notation, numbers to the right of negative 2 are greater than or equal to negative 2. So, that's why we have here the set of all x such that x is greater than or equal to negative 2. Now, for the interval notation, since negative 2 is included, so we have here a bracket, sign, and then negative 2. Then, going to the positive infinity, so we have close parenthesis. Now, let's have another example. So, open circle at negative 3, and this part here is the shaded region, meaning to say part of the solution. And open circle at positive 4. So for set builder notation, we can write it in this way. The set of all x such that x is less than 4 but greater than negative 3. So these are the part of the solution which are greater than negative, negative 3 but less than 4. So for the interval notation, we have here negative 3 up to 4, but we are using open and close parenthesis because negative 3, open circle, meaning not part of the solution as well as 4, close parenthesis because 4 is also not part of the solution. Another example, we have here a solid circle at negative 1 and solid circle at 4. So how are we going to determine the solution set. So meaning to say negative 1, the solution set is from negative 1 up to positive 4. So in set by notation, that is a set of all x such that x is less than or equal to 4 here but greater than or equal to negative 1. Okay, this is part of the solution here. So for the interval notation, we have bracket sign because negative 1 is part of the solution and bracket also to positive 4 because 4 is part of the solution. Another example we have here open circle negative 4 and then part of the solution is going to the negative infinity in open circle at point 2 and then part also of the solution is going to positive infinity. So how are we going to represent this one? So we have in set builder notation we have this part here the values of x is less than negative 4. Okay? Numbers going to the left of negative 4 are less than negative 4. While numbers going to the right of positive 2 are numbers greater than 2. So that's why we have here x less than negative 4 or x is greater than 2. For the interval notation, we have here, this part is negative infinity. So we have negative infinity, then we up to negative 4. But negative 4 is not included as part of the solution. That is why we have here a close parenthesis. Then, this part here is not part of the solution, so we'll have to union, get the union. So union of 
to open parenthesis. And then part also of the solution here is up to positive infinity. So this is now the interval notation for this given graph. Another example we have solid circle at negative 4 and then the shaded region is going to the negative infinity solid circle at 1 and then going to the positive infinity so for the set in set builder notation we have set of all x here the values are less than or equal to negative 4 the values here greater than or equal to 1 now in terms of interval notation, so going to the negative infinity, okay, bracket up to negative 4, because negative 4 is part of the solution. Union, 1, then going to positive infin infinity, okay? Thank you so much for watching guys, hopefully you learned something for today's video. Can the like if you learned something and if you have questions regarding the video, just comment it in the comment box. Kindly share to other students for them to learn or master the lesson. And please don't forget to subscribe to be updated for more math lesson videos and turn on the bell for notifications. Before I end, let me share to you one of the verses from the Bible. When pride cometh, then come it shame, but with the lowly is wisdom. Proverbs 11 verse 2 Thank you so much for watching guys, and God bless you all.